I'm Casey and today I'm talking financial apps and how to manage your money with your phone with the lovely Shannon from Money Awesomeness on Coral. Financial management is something that I've always kind of struggled with. University, college, now first job, all working that stuff. And I kind of keep my money management in the back dark corner, which I think probably a lot of people do and just know what's coming in and what's going out. But why would someone want to use a financial app on their phone? What are some benefits to doing that? You totally nailed it. A lot of times people don't like to actually look at their credit card bills coming in. They don't want to look at their banking. Having a mobile app on your phone, you actually have a grasp on what you're spending like per day and it actually forces you to acknowledge it. Plus they alert you to when you have bills coming up and okay. when your expenses are running low. So. Financial apps help all of us to actually pay attention to what we're spending right in that moment. Right, and be responsible with our finances. Absolutely. A mobile app for finances makes it really easy to start being responsible with your money with minimum effort. Shannon, what's the difference between having just say my banking app versus having a financial management app? That's a great, great question. So I think minimum, everyone should have a banking app on their phone no matter what, so you can always see at least what your balance is. Yeah. But if you actually wanna take it the next step to get responsible, having an actual like mobile financial management app can help because you get to put in your own budget okay. and it will alert you when your bills are paid so you don't have to worry about it anymore. And that's the nice thing that a banking app doesn't do. And then you can actually customize your own app so that it says, you know, you bought too much wine this week. Yeah, you spent way too much on the LCBO again. <laughs> Which, <laughs> My phone's buzzing constantly. <laughs> If you're talking financial apps, what are your top three? Definitely Mint, Okay. I Reconcile, and FreshBooks. Let's get to the bottom of what makes them so great. I'm gonna be so financially responsible. Oh yeah. <laughs> so Mint, if we wanna start there, um, is probably one of my favorites, maybe all time favorite. Okay. Number one, it's free. It hooks into whatever bank that you're on, so it automatically updates all of your expenses for you. Oh. And so that's great, because if you're a lazy financial management, kinda like me, and like most people, you don't have to actually Actually, every time you do a transaction, you don't have to update it and put it in yourself. So it it's automatically done. So it's free, it syncs for you. So if anybody's out there wanting to just try this out, Mint is the best way to actually try it. See if you actually like being on a mobile app. And the benefit of it is that on top of this, now you have your budgeting tools, you have your alert system, so you'll never miss a bill again. I Reconcile, tell me about that one. So I Reconcile is also awesome for personal budgeting. One that's free, it's called I Reconcile Lite. And then there's also the other one that's $2.99. But the $2.99 version actually has like the report and the budgeting tools, which actually make iReconcile stand out in my mind. Okay. So if you're gonna go for the light version, you may as well do Mint. So with iReconcile, the full version, what makes it so cool is that you can use it as a freelancer or for your regular personal finances, and that you can do both. You can actually like put in the categories yourself. So if you have a business account, you can actually see at the end of the year for your tax time, how much you spent on printing, how much you spent on oh, this, okay. just for your business account alone. Plus, it actually gives you like a profit and loss, and you can, oh, yeah, okay. so you can actually have all of those at your fingertips when another app might not actually have those. So that's great. The only thing that about iReconcile that you know, some people don't like is that you have to manually input the transactions. So if you're on the go and you're busy and you don't feel like you have time to do that, that can be a pain in the butt. I'm gonna download that right now. Yeah. I'm gonna give it a go. The next app that we're gonna talk about is FreshBooks. Now, I've been using FreshBooks as a freelancer and it just came out with a mobile app. So let's talk about that a little bit. FreshBooks is great. It is just for your business part of it. So it's not really necessarily for the personal finance, groceries, that kind of thing for yeah. your budget, like iReconcile or Mint. But FreshBooks is unbelievable for actually managing your business right from your phone and now that you actually have it on a mobile as you can walk around you can invoice clients you can take photos of receipts this is a huge 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 thing for tax time because yeah. we all need receipts to prove that we spent that money you don't necessarily have to have that giant shoe box yeah, sitting neat. in the closet <laughs> with all of your receipts for the year so FreshBooks is great for somebody who's on the road and it's free I can create invoices and stuff right from my phone right so even if I'm on the go I'm like no problem let me send you that invoice right now exactly so it's real-time money management all the financial apps actually help with peace of mind because yeah. you're on it in that moment the money worries when you're like ah where's my money going and now you can be like bam there it is <laughs> okay Shannon if you could offer one piece of advice to everyone watching what would that be download mint it's free it's easy it's automatic and you absolutely can budget on the spot write that down kids download <laughs> those are our top three picks for managing your finances on mobile 
Thanks a lot for being on my show today and happy money management. I'm Casey Stewart and you're watching this, the hot internet show. And I'm Shannon, you're watching Money Austin on all this is my show. Make sure to subscribe and follow us on Twitter. <laughs> if you have any questions about financial management or apps, leave them in the comments. Bye. Bye. Cool. Yeah.